Let's try Peppermint OS. I've not tried it before. Um, this will be the first time I've ever tried Peppermint OS on anything. Um, this little laptop is the HP Stream 11. It's got an Intel Celeron N3060 dual core processor and it's only got two gigabytes of RAM. It's also only got a 32 gigabyte eMMC drive. So installing Windows on this is generally a bad idea because it'll quite quickly fill up with Windows updates. So a light or midweight Linux operating system is a good choice for this laptop. Maybe even Chrome OS. Maybe I'll try that in a future video. But I thought I would try this because it's free and someone left a comment recommending it. So thanks for the comment. And we'll see what this is like on this little laptop. Like I've said, it's quite slow and can struggle. And because I'm using it live, it's not being installed and it's most likely not going to create a swap file for me. So if we run out of memory, we might run into problems with the operating system. So let's see when we're going to get to the desktop. All right, we're here. That was quite quick. What is Peppermint OS? And uh, is that Peppermint? Yes, it is. We've got a nice picture of Peppermint in the background. Uh, we've got a menu here. That's quite neat. Everything's sort of in a quick list there for us. Um, got a terminal, all the usual sort of things, web browser. I've not connected to the Wi-Fi yet. Um, so that's why we're getting that page not found. And let's have a look, accessories, graphics, internet, audio controls, settings and system. Seems quite light, there's not much on here yet, which is a good start really for most people. Um, well, depends on your preferences. You can choose what you want, I think, is the main thing. And let's have a look at Task Manager. The system is using 1.3 gigabytes of RAM so far. And I'll connect to the internet and we can have a quick look. Okay, so it's really quick to connect to the Wi-Fi. There was a little network connection here and there's also an update tool down here that will update the operating system. Um, but this looks quite nice. Um, nice to see a friendly welcome screen explaining stuff. Um, I don't know how to close this actually. Oh, there we go. And there's various links to the community side of things. So I guess if we want to go on the internet, we go to the internet and have a look at this. Um, nope, that's an SSB manager. So I guess we need to find a web browser. What web browser is this that this loads? Oh, select packages and web browsers. We can just do that there. So there's something here because we've got this built in. But um, how do I close this? Let's close that. Have a look in here. And let's find a web browser. So I've selected Falcon QT browser. And we've got this installing on the left over here. And it seems nice and responsive. And we've got Task Manager here and we're using about a gigabyte of memory at the moment. Um, we've also got the File Manager. We can see that the file system has about 600 megabytes free. Um, this is just a temporary file system that has been set up for this live boot system. We've also got the ability to browse the network and yeah. 
see how that goes. We might not get anything there. And let's see if that install worked or what happened with that. It just disappeared. Let's have a look in internet. Oh no, we've got Falcon here. So it has hopefully managed to install that for us. Yep, here we go. Let's have a look at um, WebGL Aquarium. That's running really well once it's loaded everything in. So that's great. So let's try YouTube and see how this performs as well. Waiting for this to let me skip these adverts. And we'll try the uh, full screen mode. See how quickly it switches to full screen mode. And we'll go to a specific point. And here we are, hands within hands. Um, so this works really well. Um, it's quite responsive. It's using the VP09 codec. Um, there are dropped frames, but it's not too bad. This actually seems like quite a nice little uh, web browser. And also nice little operating system. Kind of feel like this keeps things simple and that maybe makes it seem a little bit, I don't know, a little bit more polished perhaps. Um, if you have to deal with 500 different programs and settings and applications, then that's going to be more complicated and time consuming than dealing with, say, 100 different applications in your install. So, you know, if you were developing this operating system and then testing every single thing here, if there are 100 things here or 50 things here, that's going to be much easier than testing, you know, 500 things. But yeah, it seems quite nice. Um, it's got the basics to get you started and leaves it up to you really to choose what you want on here. Um, let's have a look at the terminal and see what we've got. We've got top, we don't have htop and we don't have neofetch. So let's have a look if we can put that on here. And this may take a little bit of time, but seems to be going quite smoothly. And then there we have the Pep OS, Peppermint OS on the HP Stream Laptop 11. And 
we can see we've got XFCE as the desktop environment and the Celeron N3060, which turbo is up to 2.4 gigahertz. So yeah, this is a nice little operating system. Um, nothing too fancy, but do you need fancy? Um, if you just want something that works, then this does the job. Um, it's got quite a nice little uh, settings control panel as well. Um, so if you watch this video, if you found this interesting, leave a comment. Let me know your favorite Linux operating system. And thanks for watching. Bye.